For police officer Michelle Jeter, this widespread lack of respect for authority had tragic consequences. On August 10, 1997, Jeter pulled over a speeding van on Highway 59, just outside of Carthage, Texas. There, saw it. That barely fit in here, didn't it? Yeah. Her that patrol car's dash camera recorded the entire incident on tape. One Jeter had no idea that the situation and the van's driver, Jorge Orozco, would soon go out of control. The conversation was very lax. He was, you know, real cordial, real polite. But as far as the traffic stop, it was going, you know, really perfect. It really was. Although a routine check of Orozco's license turned up an outstanding traffic warrant, Officer Jeter was unaware that he had recently served time for armed assault. For some reason, I asked him if I could have permission to search the vehicle. And he said, sure, no problem. At that point, Orozco's eight-year-old daughter stepped out of the van and waited by the side of the road. Jeter's search of the van eventually turned up a pouch containing one and a half pounds of marijuana. Put your hands on the car. Put your hands on the car. On that car there. I stepped away from his vehicle, walked to the back of the van, and advised him to place his hands on the car. He went in a motion as he was going to cooperate. And as I stepped forward with my handcuffs and my hand to handcuff him, he spun around and hit me in the face. Michelle Jeter was immediately knocked unconscious. She has no recollection of the savage beating that followed in full view of Jorge Orozco's daughter. Go, baby, I can't go to jail. Go, baby. Orozco drove away, leaving Michelle to die by the side of the road. Are you okay? A passing motorist rushed to Jeter's side and used her police radio to call for help. Help, officer down. <laughs> Michelle was rushed to the nearest hospital where she was placed on life support systems and lay in a coma for six days. Her assailant was captured within an hour of the brutal assault. And although Michelle has no memory of the attack, she has viewed it on tape. His intentions, in, in my opinion, were to kill me. You know, you deserve this because I can't go back to jail. That's just your tough luck. You got in my way. I don't believe that I will ever be able to forgive him. That's something that has affected my life forever. And I'm sure it's something that has affected his daughter's life forever. And I can't forgive him for me or for her. Jorge Orozco was convicted of attempted murder and sentenced to 60 years in prison without the possibility of parole. For Michelle Jeter, justice was served.